A brand new island, some brand new cars, some brand new aerial vehicles, two brand new playlists, two brand new ways to play one giant brand new season. It's the Crew Motor Fest like you've never seen before and I'm taking you on a tour of all of it. Follow me. So before we get into all the nitty and gritty of this new update, and there's a lot, like a lot to unpack here, let's start with a bit of a cruise, shall we? Uh, it's been more than a year since the Crew Motorfest launched, and we've been blessed with well over 700 cars, hundreds of events from playlists, and miles upon miles of Hawaiian roads. We've seen popular people and brands come through and join the festival, such as Hoonigan, Liberty Walk, Shmi 150, Supercar, Blondie, Ring Brothers, Donut Media, and many more. So what's new for year two of the Motorfest? More new cars and events, but chief of all is an all new playground. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, or rather i mai to Maui. connector bridge just to reach the new island why bother teleport jumping from one island to another when you can enjoy the drive there am i right the new bridge located at the far southwestern edge of oahu will lead you to either east maui or west maui despite the new island being smaller than the main island it's still a pretty uh, big island originally we only made do with the 5117 kilometers of driving roads but with the inclusion of Maui, we get to add 471 extra kilometers of driving road to that initial total. This means that we now have access to almost 1,000 kilometers of total road in this game. And it's not just about us racing. We also get to see the sites including some historical landmarks, tropical waterfalls, a bamboo forest, the bustling town of Kahului, the plume of smoke from the active volcano caldera of Haleakala, and loads more. With new vibrant colors and environments, Maui serves as an excellent addition to the Motorfest playground and everyone will have a chance to experience it for free when the update drops tomorrow.
Speaking of new colors, there was one big thing in the video game world that was released today, the PlayStation 5 Pro. If you plan on picking yours up today, you'll be delighted to know that the Crew Motor Fest will be fully optimized with the PlayStation 5 Pro on November 7th, the day after the Season 5 update drops. There will be an update for the game for PS5 Pro users which will improve the game's resolution, frame rate, rendering, detail and quality all to harness the full power of Sony's newest most powerful gaming console. to the nitty and gritty of this update. When you first jump into season five, you'll be greeted by two brand new playlists, Made in Japan, volume two, and Chase Squad.
these two playlists sort of go hand in hand with each other and I'll explain why. First up, there's Made in Japan Volume 2. Coming from the success and popularity of the first volume, the second volume of Made in Japan has you now part of the pack and invited to race against some new racing crews all over Maui. It should be said that these crews are definitely lovers of cats, mainly due to their names, the Diamond Fangs, the Claw Blades, the Night Stalkers, and the Quick Whiskers. As usual, while racing with the pack, you'll be introduced to more incredible JDM machines such as the FCRX7, the GR86, and our newest arrivals, the much anticipated Skyline R32 and the incredibly quick Liberty Walk Honda NSX, which is also the main reward for completing this playlist. See, uh, I would stop there, but there's one more big thing that I have to show you here, Rivals Mode. Uh, even after you complete the playlist, these four crews still want more racing action in the festival, which is why they'll be cruising around both Oahu and Maui ready for you to challenge them to races. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we get to actually do some proper PVE, true open world racing for a change. How this works is that certain drivers you wish to challenge will be cruising around highlighted areas on your map. Once you find them, stay within range of them until you have them fully identified. After that, you'll be able to challenge them to a race. Any rivals race you compete in will have an AI randomly generated route. So even if you were to take on a rival several times, it won't be the same route you two race on every single time. Once you've beaten the rivals of a specific crew, you'll have the ability to take on that crew's chief. And let me tell you, the chiefs of all four crews drive some insane street tier 2 machines, so trying to outrun them easily won't be as clear cut as it seems. If you beat all four of the chiefs, you'll be able to take on a mystery driver, of whom legend has it, is superior to all the chiefs in every way. So that's Made in Japan Volume 2, and while it focused on the street racing end of the law chase squad focused on the other side of that let's be honest here the past two titles of the crew had some cops and robbers action placed into it so why wouldn't motorfest have this as well chase squad is an all-new motorfest police force with its headquarters based in maui other than you being their new recruit the squad consists of four key people Murdoch, the squad's captain spam the squad's information specialist and advocate of procedure glitch a playboy in the squad's enforcer, and Gordon, the mascot Doberman. Your mission as a member of the Chase Squad is to uphold the peace at the Motorfest and prove to everyone that the squad houses the best line of drivers in all of the uh, festivals. So instead of racing against the four chiefs like we did in Made in Japan Volume 2, we'll be chasing them in chase squad the events you go through in this playlist will have you hunting down the the crew members and chiefs of the four big crews in order to specifically prove the squad's dominance in year two of the motorfest each of the new squad cars are heavily modified with wide body kits new headlights unique bull guards and better performance in fact if you complete all of the chase squad playlist murdoch will gift you a chase squad upgraded version of the ivory tower Ezes and it's one of the best chase vehicles to use. And like Made in Japan Volume 2, Chase Squad also comes with a Rivals mode where you get to chase and take down or arrest all of the crew members cruising around Hawaii. Uh, scoring in these new modes is interesting. In a regular trail and chase event from the playlist, you'll need to stay on your opponent's tail until you've reached the engage point. You can't be too far behind them or you'll lose them and you can't get too close to them or they'll freak out and the procedure gets compromised. You, you'll also lose points in either of those situations so the best way to gain points here is to remain within perfect range of your suspect. Once you've reached the engage point then can you pull any move you want to take down or arrest your opponent. If you want a high score though, taking them down is the best way to go. Huge crashes yield the most points, plus getting your opponent to pull extra stunts like spins, barrel rolls, going off the road, or hitting other traffic adds to your points tally as well. There are even new parts of fixes that help increase your chase scoring, and I'm saying all of this because events like these are going to be in summit contests, so make sure you're ready. In a regular rivals chase mode, the rules still apply, except you don't have to tell your opponent and wait to engage them until you reach a certain point. Another difference here is that when you're chasing regular members of a certain crew, 
you're just chasing them but when you're chasing down the chiefs they'll always have two of their members with them acting as bodyguards you can take them down for a clearer path towards subduing their chief but as long as you take the chief down the job's done one final difference you can opt to have chase squad back up a company on rivals chases by selecting that option in the game settings options menu they could come in handy when taking down chiefs though if you feel like they're getting in the way or if you're greedy for points you can always turn that option off speaking of the summit contest i might as well show that introduction video now new season new month and an entirely new rivalry Street racers bring their A-game, but the Motorfest Chase Squad has all the answers. This month breathes new life into the Motorfest. And there you have it, we're going to be doing a lot of street racing and rivals chasing this month all leading up to the introduction of our chief collaborator for this season. Carpenter Brute. If you live in France, then you've probably heard a lot about him. He's a dark synth or synthwave producer, famous for his haunting melodies that transport us to a cyberpunk-like future or in the middle of an engaging chase. There's going to be a lot of good music added this season for regular players or those who primarily use streamer mode. And among all of the tracks added, three of them have Carpenter Brute's name on them. Not only will those tracks be featured in the chase squad playlist but the legend tracks for this month feature actual carpenter brute clothing and merchandise plus at the end of the month there will be a premium summit contest with the platinum reward being the creators ks mass leader card decked out in carpenter brute graphics and his logo uh, now obviously you'd want the right performance parts to be ready for these new summit contests and farming them takes a while Plus, the game doesn't always give you what you want in terms of bonuses. What if there was a way to reward those who have a few bonuses already? Well, uh, thanks to Season 5, there is. Since the game's launch, it's been known that having seven legendary parts with the same set bonus will activate it. And the three most notable ones are Nitro Chemist, Loot Digger, and Score Breaker. I don't know about you, but getting a full set of either of these has been pretty hard to come by these days even with you grinding certain events for hours or days. So to make it easier, in Season 5, you'll be able to trigger a legendary set bonus at just 3 parts instead of 7. Mind you, you'll only trigger half of the added bonus, whereas having a full set will trigger the full bonus, but even an extra half is pretty good enough, right? What makes this interesting though is that you can now have two bonuses activated instead of one big one. For example, you can have three parts with a Nitro Chemist bonus and three parts with a Score Breaker bonus. So you'll have longer lasting Nitro and better scoring in activities. An ideal way of staying fast and scoring high in slaloms and bullseyes, right? There is also another way of obtaining the parts that you want, merging parts together. For the first time, you can create brand new legendary parts by making use of the parts you already have in your inventory. In order for this to work, you'll need three parts with the same rarity. Once you have those three parts, you can simply merge them together to create a new one. If you like the new part created, you can keep it. If you don't like it, you can always scrap it and make a new one. Uh, be mindful though. Like I said before, merging parts to create new ones require three parts. So you may not want to go completely crazy and run out of your base inventory just to get the one part you want. Now, uh, on to cars. With the new year comes a new car pass, but unlike the first car pass where we got two cars per month, this year we're only getting one car per month and mostly due to the fact that this month alone we're getting a whopping 20 new vehicles with 18 of them ready for you once you log into the game tomorrow. First and foremost, this month's pass will be the only one featuring three cars in a playlist. The BMW M5 CS, the Nissan Skyline GTR R32, and the Audi RS6 Avant Chase Squad Edition, with the final car being the requirement for unlocking the Chase Squad playlist. Next month, the Ferrari Roma arrives as the newest Street Tier 2 Ferrari in a while. In January, we get to put the roof down on the Maserati MC20 Cielo Hypercar. In February, we welcome another electric car in the Ford Mustang Mach-E GT, which I was told would be a Street Tier 2, but I'm of the belief that it might actually be a Street Tier 1. 
Don't quote me on that though, we'll see just what it is next year. Now what also makes this car pass different from last year's is that with every new season there will be a new playlist but the car requirement for said playlist won't be some early access gimmick, it will be available for everyone after which every month the new car available will be a 7 day early access before being released to the public. As far as shop editions go, there are 3 new ones that will be available once you log in tomorrow. First up, there is the highly coveted 992 generation Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which strangely enough is a street tier 2 car instead of a hypercar. Though, to be fair, it sort of makes sense why it's an ST2 instead of hypercar. For starters, thanks to its immense downforce, the new GT3 RS has a lower top speed than the old one, and even though it grips corners better than any street legal 911, all the added mechanics and tech in order for it to do so has actually made it heavier than the old GT3 RS, but don't be fooled by all that. I'm gonna tell you right now, this new one is so much better, especially if you set the pro settings correctly. The next car was the one previewed during UB Ford, the Rimac Nevera. He was bound to arrive sooner or later at 2301 horsepower when upgraded to the max the nevera is the most powerful hypercar in the game but it's also the heaviest hypercar in the game weighing well over 5,000 pounds how does it fare against the other 2,000 horsepower electric hypercars we'll find out next up and making a triumphant return are helicopters the proto a 500 chopper will be purchasable in the shop tomorrow but if you have said chopper in your garage in the crew too and you still have import collection active it will be automatically added to your garage for free now onto something rather interesting coming to the shop next week another original car from ivory tower <music> This is the Og Mios, named after the Celtic god of eloquence with an appearance similar to that of Heracles. So he not only represents eloquence, but also persuasion and power. In the case of this car, as you can see, it looks rather muscular, doesn't it? Well, this car is Ivory Tower answering a noted question. What if France built their own muscle car? We've known the French for building the fastest cars in the world, as well as grippiest of hot hatchbacks and the most successful set of rally cars but a supercharged v8 muscle car to compete against the stuff from america unheard of until now the ogmios features the same unique dashboard in its interior as the asus you know it even has a working g meter the power from the 655 horsepower six liter supercharged v8 goes to the rear wheels via a six speed manual transmission and despite it weighing just under 3,800 pounds, it can be surprisingly balanced at times, but for most of the time, it just loves to drift. Above all else, Ivory Tower have created their rendition of a perfect muscle car. You'll be able to get your hands on it on November 13th, but if you don't want to wait, you can get its Chase Squad Edition variant as a free reward by defeating all of the Diamond Fang rivals in rivals mode within the Chase Squad playlist. Um, speaking of playlist rewards, uh, beating all of the events in the Made in Japan Volume 2 playlist nets you the Liberty Walk Honda NSX, the game's fourth official Liberty Walk car and the second under the manufacturer Liberty Walk. If you thought the standard NSX was a menace on track and in grand races then get ready because the Liberty Walk NSX is even better. As I noted earlier, beating all of the events in the Chase Squad playlist nets you the Chase Squad edition of the Ivory Tower Asus which as I have tested is the best Chase Squad car so far at least in terms of hypercar. Now Rivals Mode isn't just for extra activities, there are plenty of rewards to earn as well. For example, over on the, the Made in Japan volume 2 rivals not only can you earn new emotes from defeating certain crew members um, but you can also earn the cars from the respected crew chiefs if you beat the the tank from the diamond fangs you get his special custom bmw m5 cs with its unique body kit unique set of tires and a quirky active aero rear wing if you beat the claw blades chief the lion you get his Restomod Pontiac GTO. The same can be said for Night Stalker's Chiefs upgraded Alfa Romeo, Julia GTA M, 
and the Quick Whiskers Chiefs Restomod DeLorean DMC-12. Finally, if you beat all the Chiefs, take on the Mystery Driver and bet her at her own game, you get her unique White Tiger Creators Tempesta. Then there's the Chase Squad side of things. As I noted earlier, if you beat all the Diamond Fangs in Chase Squad Rivals, you get the Omeo's Chase Squad Edition. If you take down Leo in the Claw Blades, Murdoch will reward you with the Chase Squad Edition of the Proto A500 helicopter. Uh, taking down the Quick Whiskers will give you the Chase Squad Edition of the W Motors Lycan Hypersport. Finally, if you subdue the Night Stalkers, there will be a Chase Squad edition of the Ford Mustang Dark Horse waiting for you to pick up. After all that is done and you finally find out who the mystery White Tiger driver is and take her down, you'll net the ultimate prize, a Chase Squad modified Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And get this, it's a hypercar. So those are all the new cars you can get this week and next week. And there's more you can earn with a little something the game is introducing this season. Prestige tickets did you miss out on an important summit contest were you just short of achieving platinum or the rank that you wanted to earn an exclusive prize prestige tickets will help you secure those exclusive prizes and cars you missed and more new to the game completing races or events in custom mode not only awards you money xp and parts but if you complete them in a certain discipline you earn prestige tickets for example you guys know i do most of my car tests at shinjuku style now, if I were to complete that event in my choice of street tier 2 car, I get 10 prestige tickets. Doing that same event, but with the applicable other disciplines like hypercar, rally, racing, rally raid, monster truck, etc. And not only will I get 10 prestige tickets for each discipline I used, I'll also get a bonus 100 prestige tickets for completing the event in all of the applicable disciplines. Furthermore, if you just run through an entire playlist, top to bottom, in one discipline, you'll receive 10 prestige tickets for each event and a bonus 100 tickets for completing the playlist. So how can we use all these prestige tickets, you ask? Why the prestige store, of course? If you head to the shop and locate the prestige store, you'll see summit rewards from previous seasons now with the prestige ticket price and some of the more exclusive rewards like those summit cars have a hefty price tag so if you missed out on them you better get grinding in custom mode to get them it should also be noted that custom mode isn't the only place to earn prestige tickets as they can also show up time and again as ranked rewards in summit contests as well and that ladies and gentlemen is all you need to know about season 5 of the crew motor fest it's a lot i know New cars, new grand race routes, new events, new ways to play, new ways to earn, new ways to collect, etc. This is a great thing though, as it means we're going to be busy from day one all throughout the rest of the season. Moreover, this sort of cements TCM as the go-to open world racer this time out as the crew at Ivory Tower keep out doing themselves time and time again. So with that said, if you love what you saw in this lengthy preview, leave a like and subscribe to my channel it really helps me a lot if you have any questions put them in the comments until then i'll see you in maui